Welcome back. I know it's been a while. Um, kind of got caught up with some stuff and then just put everything off. Anyways, um, so I recently sent a book, a journal, to um, Shabby Dabby Doodah, um, her daughter, and I um, received a request to make one for um, a gal's granddaughter that was similar to the one that I sent Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, and um, also from that video, I received a request to make a video on how to um, do the um, fairy lights. So these are the fairy lights. Um, I unfortunately already got rid of the packaging. I normally try and organize my stuff as soon as I get it. Um, but these are the fairy lights. They are Tim Holtz fairy lights. Um, they're not too particularly, well, I can't say that word. Um, they're not very long. So, let's see if I can, okay, there's the little tie. Oh, no, that's the end. Okay, I thought they were tied together. Oh, now I got it all tangled, of course. Okay. So they're not they're not too particularly long. And um it's it's wire, so it bends and shapes pretty good. Um so what we're gonna do do is I am going to go through how I um, strung these through the book um, and I'll go through um, like the crocodile and all that. Um, this is the, I do have both the big and this one. Um, I like them both. I don't have an issue. This one's good for like smaller stuff, of course. But um, anyways, with the real quick, I will um, go through how to use this. I've noticed some people... Um, have problems with it so on top here there is if it'll there is a picture of an eyelet so when you go to like clamp the eyelet down you want the top of the eyelet here and then the bottom will be crushed here. So essentially, you'd hold it like this with the pointer part facing down. And then, so it's like, let me get my eyelids real quick. So here's the top part, here's the bottom. So, you would put it in there like, my big old fingers are in the way. So, it would go in like this. Like that. Oh, like that. Okay. Okay. So, what we're going to do is figure out where exactly I want the holes for the fairy lights. I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible. I know some people don't like sitting there forever watching. Um, I try not to do like as like too many holes. Um, 
just because I don't want the front of the book to be all like holy and just it doesn't look very good so um what I think I'll do is put one in the center kind of right there and then what we'll do is we'll wrap around and I might, might have to switch that up because I'm going to want one here and here, but I think I'm going to want two. Oh, great. Okay, there it is. Here and here. And I actually think I want two up top. Maybe because I want it to go. That might be too far. Well, we'll put one here and see how that goes. And then one here. I think on the other book, but I think the other book was bigger than this one. But I think I had like four on the front, four on the back and then I put one here one here and we'll do one see it's easier to see back here whether or not I might do one here one here one here one here make it even here well as even as possible my own, yeah. Okay. Put it here. Well, it won't be that close to the edge. I don't want it that close to the edge. Probably do it. Even it up with this eyelet as I'm scooting back. I'm sorry. This is, like I said, this is only like my second video. So I'm sorry if it's not very good. I am doing my best. Don't let. Don't let that deter you. I will get better, I promise. So I actually want two up front here. So I'm gonna want one here and here, yeah, here. And about here. Okay. So, let me open it. And nothing's on the inside right now. I normally always do, like, the cover and um, then I work on the inside. Okay. So, we're going to do... And I want to use um, the bigger hole, which is 318, I think, is what it is. Or 3 8 I'll have to I'll have to look. <coughs> Excuse me, my mouth is getting dry. So I'm gonna kind of wiggle this up. It's a little harder because this is thick. And like I said, you don't want the eyelets too close to the edge. You don't want to, like, ruin the integrity of the book. Um, 
Okay, I really hope you can see this. There we go. That's good. And do about the same here. That's right about. Let me go back. I hate when they get stuck. And then you can't, you can't see what you're doing. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's, there we go. And you just do this all the way around. Of course that didn't come out. Ugh. So I hope everybody's having a good day. I... have, what was it, last week I had a get ready for a craft fair, so I was busy doing that, that was fun, you know, it, it's really hard to sell, um, journals with people that don't really know what they are or know what they're about, um, you know, things like that. But I, I mean, I still go to the craft fairs and I still present my journals and I'm still more than happy to tell people, Hey, this is a, you know, this is what a junk journal is. You know, and and sometimes I just I'm I'm like I let them know, you know, what it is to me. Also, is is like a it's like um almost like a a magical place that you have to create and get away and all that. Um, real quick, what I'm going to do is separate where these pages are and get in there like this. And I mean, granted, I should have done this before I put the pages in and I did this last time too. But I just, I don't know. I always have the book ready. And that's just how I do it. Okay, so I'm not p poking the pages. Making sure I'm not doing that. Okay, so I separate the pages and then I just squeeze it like that. I'll show you down here. So I separate the pages in the middle where I'll be poking the hole. And then I just... Go ahead and do it, but I gotta find there it is. And again, I I don't want to get it too far down because you don't want to, like I said, mess with the integrity of the book. And especially when you get to the spine, you don't you want to be careful because. After you've taken those pages out of a book, it it just messes with 
um, the integrity of it, well, it can, it can make the spine pretty weak. I put, um, that really strong, um, shipping envelope in there so that, oops, oh, well, that's awesome, so that it doesn't rip or tear. I don't remember what it's called, but um, it's, a, it's that shipping packaging that it's white and you, you can cut through it, but you can't, um, you can't rip it or anything like that. And that does a really good job. I think I got that, uh, handy dandy information from Nick the Booksmith. I think she was the first one that um, I really started watching on junk journals and how to assemble them and um, all that. Oh, this is just getting harder and harder. It's hard when you have carpal tunnel. Let me tell you. Oh, oh I've been doing the small one. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. In some places, it's really hard. Ugh, excuse me. I know I'm out of frame, but this does not want to go in. There we go. Okay. Ugh. Man. How many small ones did I... I don't like the whole entire front. That's awesome. Sorry, I had to get those holes out. Or those things out. Okay, let's... Gotta repunch these because I did the small ones. bang that on my mat that would have been bad my husband got me the Tim Holtz mixed media mat for our anniversary I would have been sad if I ruined it I would have I would have definitely cried come on out I think this is like the only thing I don't like about this one is that the, I don't know if you guys have issues with it, but I know I do. I don't know if these are, I think these are the small ones. Of course. Of course. Because I couldn't do the big ones, could I? No. That'd be difficult. I got this this pink thing here at the um, Dollar Tree, you know, I'm going to have to say they have definitely stepped up their game with craft supplies and um, just a lot of different things. They've really, they've really stepped up their game. Okay. I, I buy a lot of my stuff from there. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to put the eyelets in. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm already at like 20 minutes. So let's kick this up a notch here. I really didn't want it to go this long. I'm sorry. But sometimes you just can't help it. Ugh. Got a 
cortisone shot for my hands last week, but they still, I think it's just because it was hard to, um, pull that through. Here, let's back this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Just line it all up. I keep reaching for my jar. Sorry, my hand's all in the way. My arm. It's like nobody wants to see your arm, Amber. Oh, did that? Okay, we're good. I don't know why, but some parts of these book, this book, seems thicker than other parts. I don't know if I've had that happen before. And it's like, it's not, the eyelets are smaller in some areas, and then go through correctly in other areas. Let me, I'm sorry. I need to make sure that's even. I know I keep going out of frame. Like I said, this is second video I'm trying here. You'll have to let me know in the comments how I'm doing, and I already know, you know, I'm not always in frame, and I'm not, I just hope I'm, like, close enough, and you guys can see, and all that, and I'm clear in my directions, I really didn't make sure, I really, or I really didn't want to go this long of a video and that's you know and just because I know some people don't like watching long videos and you know some people enjoy it I know I don't mind long videos because I just sit there and craft and listen to them talk and it doesn't bother me any. I love, I love having someone to listen to and craft with and me and my, me and my sister started Zoom or not Zoom, but uh, it's called Duo, Google Duo. We started Google Duoing Crafting. <laughs> oh, that's a mouthful. But we were doing it this morning. I was teaching her how to do an altered book. She's, she's fascinated with the junk journal world. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to take the lights and we're going to string them through. So let's untangle them. Okay. All right. So I start from the back and I start from the inside. So I would start here and then what I would do is just wind it through. Now you have to pull it, you have to pull it all the way through because it's not, it's not like a string where you can just, you know, weave it and then pull it when you get close enough. So I went out. So I'm going to come around and go through the inside and just keep doing that. Um, and the reason I do that is because it's, 
it is pretty long unless you have a bigger book. And no, it would go. I don't know if I want that though. I think it would go this way, right? No. So just weave it around. And so that went on the outside. You can, I'm doing this backwards, but that's okay. Just do, let's see, just do um, like a twist. There we go, a twist. Just twist it around the border of the book. <laughs> and it, it conforms to the book pretty well just because it is, um, it's a, uh, like a wire. So it conforms to the book quite well and and um it's not gonna I might have to pull more through. You know, I'm going to have to say this. These women that make these fairy doors, like this right here. Oh, bless their hearts. Bless their hearts. I, it literally took me all day. All day. Just to figure out how to make a, day, a, a darn fairy door. I don't know. It was, it was a task, let me tell you. Okay, see, I think that other book was just taller, not nearly as big as, as fat as this one. Okay, so that's pretty much how it goes. And then you can come over here and just, because it's um, like a metal or a wire, you can just loop it around and it'll stay. And then I normally put, like what I did with the last one is I put a pocket right here. And I just slid this in there. And then there, oh, I must have pulled it out. Where'd it go? Oh, it's inside. And these batteries are replaceable, which is nice. So just like that. And it's pretty, it's fun for kids. It lights up. It, it's just, it's super magical and, and you know, like, it's just, it's beautiful. And especially for little girls, um, or boys, um, it's just, it's so magical and just, just, I just, I love it. I love it. But that is how I did the fairy doors or, um, not the fairy doors, the fairy lights. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, leave a comment. Um, and again, let me know how I'm doing. Be gentle with me. Um, and I will do my best to answer any questions with the fairy lights um, and answer any questions and definitely take what you say for improvements to heart and do those improvements. But thank you, my beautiful gems. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.